this is a topic on coefficients of variation as in chapter 4 of descriptive statistical measure so under this topic coefficient of variation is one of the indicators that you can or we can use to measure how dispersed is our data from the mean so coefficients of variation is actually looking at the ratio between a standard deviation to the mean or to the x bar x bar is mean of the sample so coefficient of variation will be very useful if we want to compare the dispersion of data from two data sets let's say we have two data sets here for example this is fuel price per liter weekly data for Malaysia for one two three four for six weeks and also we have a fuel price per liter weekly for the US for six weeks in order to calculate coefficients of variation and we want to compare between the two countries how spread is our data from the mean first we have to look for the mean the variance the standard deviation okay we start with the mean for Malaysia the formula the Excel formula is simply equal to average average means the mean so we select the whole range here and press enter so we know that the mean price for petrol per liter for six weeks in Malaysia is one ringgit 51 cents okay, for US the formula is equal to average select the whole data range for the US please press enter and the mean price for fuel for six weeks in the US is two dollar point seventy three okay variance variance measure the disperse the dispersion of data the whole value of data and the whole value here and how it is dispersed from the mean okay the formula here is VAR variance sample VAR dot s please do not select VAR p because this is variance for population so but now we are looking at sample so it should be equal to variance dot s pick the whole range for Malaysia press enter so the variance for Malaysia is 0 0.074 so equally for the US we do the same thing variance s enter that will be 0 0.04 okay now look for standard deviation standard deviation is actually the square root of variance again I repeat standard deviation is actually the square root of the variance here but you don't have to do it manually because Excel will do it for you so the follow will be STD stand STD EV dot S standard deviation for sample select the whole range press enter so you get 0 0.27 and for the US, the same thing, standard deviation for sample. Select the whole thing here, press enter. So now we have everything. We have the mean, we have the variance, and we have the standard deviations. And those are, I mean, variance and standard deviations are measure of dispersion. But anyhow, we want to know how dispersed between the two data here. From the, the two data sets here, we have Malaysia and we have US. We never know whether Malaysia is more dispersed or whether the US data is more dispersed. We never know that until we calculate our coefficients of variation.
okay, coefficients of variation is simply equal to standard deviation divide by mean or x bar it's very simple cov is a is a product of the ratio of standard deviation to mean times 100 percent okay so we do it manually here cov equal to the standard deviation here column e rule number five Divide by the mean E3. So the answer is 0 0.18, or if you want to convert it to percentage, it's going to be 18%. So we know that overall, the value here, the value of the data here, has a coefficient variation of 18% from the mean. Okay, how about US? Okay, same thing. Standard deviation divide by mean. Press enter and you get 0 0.07. If you convert it to percentage, you're going to be 7%. So you compare, we compare 18% for Malaysia compared to 7 plus percent for the US. So what conclusion that you can make from this, from this COV? So we know that the data for fuel price per liter in Malaysia is more dispersed than the US because it is higher. The COV for Malaysia is higher than the COV for the US. 18% is bigger than 17%. So what does it mean? It means that Malaysia price, fuel, Malaysia fuel petrol price volatile more than the petrol price in the US based on the coefficients of variations. Okay, thank you.